Hi all, so welcome to the today's tutorial. So today we will see how we can calculate the angle between two vectors. So let's imagine this is one vector and this is another vector. So if what if we do want to calculate the angle between these two? The application is huge. Let's imagine uh, I am standing somewhere here and the enemy and I'm pointing to uh, this direction and the enemy is uh, you know here and he is looking at this direction and uh, when we have because enemy like in the game programming enemy have uh, like ai have the location if you want like this the location so what the angle he have to rotate with so this is what we do want to know oh, and in the application huge we can use at multiple times what is the angle between the two vectors so we will see how we can do that i will give you a hint and i would request you to try on your own so the hint is use dot product and uh, and see if you can do that. So if you know a dot b is equal to the a b cos theta, right? So it will become a b cos theta. Where right hand side uh, we are representing magnitude. This is the vector. These two are vector. So a dot b we already know how we can calculate it. V no a like it's the magnitude of a b is magnitude of b so what if we do want to calculate cos theta so it, in that case it will be a dot b upon a b right this, this will be cos theta so to calculate the theta we just have to put cos inverse right so the theta will be cos inverse of a dot b upon a b so let's do that uh cos vector and when we will uh, find the rotation, I just want to have the angle, right? So it will be a float. So not here. Ah, uh, yep. So float get angle between vector. Okay, and it will be a uh, cos vector and vector vector and um, vector. It will be cost because I'm not changing any class variable. Get angle between vectors. Alt and touch in the definition. Here, uh, first we will calculate the a dot b. So float dot product dot dot product not dot. It will be dot product is equals to uh, dot product. Um, vector. So we are multiplying the current vector to this vector. This is our dot product, and the magnitude multiply is like magnitude multiplication is equals to uh, so get magnitude multiply with m. Um, vector dot get magnitude so a dot b we have a into b now we just have to uh, multiply uh, sorry divide these two so the dot product is divided by magnitude multiplication and we have to get the cos inverse so uh, m sorry f math cos inverse in that case, a cos will be our main character. So a cosine means uh, we are uh, getting the cos inverse. Actually, uh, we also can directly use f kiss math math math. Sorry, you kiss math math. Nope, math library. And cos a cos inverse. So it is uh, result is in radian. Uh, hmm. A cos. Uh, do we have any function which is directly give us uh, giving us uh, you know the degree? Uh, sorry. If that's the case, let's use the f math simple. A cos and it is accepting the radian because 
So when we are doing this, so this uh, will give you the cos theta. And when we will put this, uh, uh, let me remove from here to here. It will give you the radian value if I'm not wrong. So float radian is equals to this. And we will convert this radian to, uh, to degree. So return uh, f math radian to degrees and we will just pass radian value. Uh, it will be const. So const float. Same with this one. It will be const float. Be again const float because we are not changing its value. So it's always wise to use const. Perfect. Uh, so let me check if it is working fine or not. So we have two vectors. Let's let make uh, let's make two vectors 500 500. So it is the uh, upright vector which will make 45 degree angle. And let's have second vector called uh, uh, and this will point to the x-axis. So this is the x-axis that will move uh, right. So one will be like this and another will be like this. So the angle should be uh, 45 in our case. So let's check if it is uh, working fine or not. Uh, so for this, okay, and it rotated. I don't want this. We are, I do want to draw this vector too. Draw vector, get world. Okay. And I do want to have that value again. Uh, so I will use a log and we'll add one more function to utility because we uh, I don't like this, you know, uh, to print the whole stanza. So percent s uh, angle between two vectors is instead of this I will have some vector dot angle between two vectors and it will be some vector when sorry it won't be s it will be f because we are printing float so where is our unreal let me compile this Okay, dot product con subject must be initialized. Uh, okay, CPP 37 vector vector 37. Let's remove load. Compile. Okay, term does not evaluate our function taking one argument and vector 37. Okay. Dot product. Okay, I. <laughs> okay, I am using the same variable name. So first, let me. Let me uh, change it so it will be dot product. Of. Of vectors. Second is like. Okay, I do vector CPP angle with that function again. Yes, now it will be now it will make sense. So let me compile it again. Perfect. Compile. And here you can see it is uh, near about 45 degree. So this is working fine. And here we can visualize it too. If we will change from perspective to the top mode, it is making the same angle. So I hope you got this concept how we can calculate the angle between two actors. So this was it for today. If you are liking this series, uh, if I'm helping you out in some way, do like and do subscribe and do share it. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.